Lab from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So one of the students of our record session had asked a question regarding the structural analysis part what is the how can we do the model analysis or not. Earlier also of many of our YouTube viewers we had this doubt of uh, whether we can do P-delta analysis or what is the analysis method which has been used uh, in this Tecla software. So using the resources available we'll just uh, try to answer their questions so first of all uh, you know this if we go to the analyze tab I'm just open a new window I'm done nothing uh, and you, you can see the types of analysis methods which are available analyze all static will you know uh, as you can see performs a full series of analysis that would be carried out as design all static but with no uh, no design includes all relevant analysis that is second order nonlinear is the same as the design setting so it is a sec basically uh, basically a second order nonlinear analysis so this is this is the, this is it. But uh, if you want to do it individually, uh, you can also uh, you know do it. So there is a 3D static analysis also performs same as analyze all static, but it includes the uh, change downs. So uh, this this actually saves time. But you know and uh, and and for addressing overall stability, sway drift and and uh, you know so overall stability and sway drift, you can also use this. So these are the types of the analysis which we can use and uh, we'll, we'll just make a small model and, and do each, each of the individual analysis to just to see the results. But before that we'll also answer the Im another important question uh, which is you know covered in, in the, for the, which is the doubt of many people and they are asking this. So if you go into the settings here, you have this you know loading and analysis settings. So in this analysis settings, you have this particular option as you can see here first order linear so you can uh, the country code which will just uh, open and uh, you know activate the analysis setting will be you know as per that so so as you can see if you're going to change any specific criteria uh, you can change that so suppose we go to first order model and uh, as you can see the extraction method in the model analysis is automatic and uh, whether it's reads or uh, you know other method it is not given here but you can have the other you know changes in this particular example so i'm going to show you another thing the p delta and uh, method is applicable here or not so in the same window we'll go to settings and we'll go to this uh, you know design well, when this like design settings and this analysis and uh, here you can find that uh, we have this types of analysis first order elastic analysis suitable when you know second order and uh, uh, effects are small enough alpha c are greater than equals to 10 and so it can be different as per different codes and uh, second order p delta analysis bsen amplified forces method note care is required in interpreting results in this approach when nonlinear elements are present and this is this is your this is your second order p delta analysis suitable for all buildings with alpha c are greater than uh, 2 so this and uh, note if nonlinear members or supports exist nonlinear analysis will automatically be run as appropriate during uh, design so you can control uh, among this you know first order and second order p delta analysis and if you just click on ok then uh, you know the by default analysis type will be anyway non-linear analysis and the processes like the uh, you know how to apply the loads and how to make the model everything will be the same you just need to take the same approach and make it so now we'll just make a small model and just check whether there is any difference or not uh, the process will be the same so i'll just make the model and then i'll analyze it so first of all let me just make a small model go to construction levels uh, go to instruction level below minus 1.2 this is print level insert one level above let's give it three and uh, let's give it a slab here so we'll just give this a thickness of uh, you know slab thickness of 100 and uh, just make a small building model in the uh, I'll just go to rectangular wizard and make a small building model here go to next and next and then one and then four and the next one 
four next next and then finish and after that just take the columns and apply the columns and uh, beams in the plinth level and then uh, we'll go and apply our beams in the next level here take the beams here beams have been applied so like this and uh, in this level we'll also insert the slab also and some for some loads let's apply some basic uh, imposed loads here of uh, let's do level load of let's say two and uh, uh, another level load of dead load will apply just let's say of uh, 0 0.5 so like this we have applied the loads here and after applying the loads we will just uh, validate the model and uh, uh, go and do some basic load combinations here generate the load combinations and limited combinations have been selected here Indian codes are been selected you can select any code as per your preference so validate again and after that uh, you can just will first of all go and select on design all static just to check uh, so analysis and design has been run uh, so this is pretty much uh, done here and uh, we'll just go to this part of our analyze and in this analyze part we'll just go here to be our first order linear and uh, combinations we'll just take these two combinations and then design uh, accordingly and if you want to see the results of this also we can also see it in the you know you can see it in the solver view and the structural view and this is you can just go to the results here and then check your uh, deflection forces reaction forces if you want to check and uh, here turn on the results and uh, you can see the axial force shear force bending moment after you just take any load combination here and see the results so the bending moment and the axial force so you can see this results here axial force uh, due to this first order linear analysis and uh, second order linear it is not analysis has not been done yet so and just there is no load combination for it so we will go to this uh, option of your analyze and let's do this second order linear and go to select this combination here and uh, and after that we will just select here this load combination now you can see the results so it is this particular column as you can see these are the results are now available for the second order linear so now let's do this first order model analysis and and once you press this model analysis now uh, this option you know comes up that is no loads uh, first order model no model mass combination have been applied so no loads any in any nodal mass combination so you can just uh, just apply this fix this error and after that you can will go to so now let's uh, go and apply the uh, loads so go to structure and go to this option of load here seismic load seismic wizard and uh, score spectra and all this will be default this will be, will take as the plinth level importance spectra 1 and uh, the default model response spectrum analysis next and the by defaults will take movement frame systems so we're taking this and then take all this dead load and live load combination and then finish and then just uh, select the operating and then click on next and then finish and then after that uh, we'll just go and uh, create some combinations generate and uh, next demonstrate combination selected this is Indian code mind you and if you are using any other code the process will be the same but the combinations will be different notional horizontal force not required in Indian code so we will just click on ok and uh, after that we will go to design and uh, uh, design all static go to design again and then design all RSA so it is having some uh, warnings but it is passing so we will go back to analyze part and we'll just go here first order model so now this first order model analysis is done and uh, because we have applied the RSA and after that you can go to this uh, part of your analyze 
and then you can go to model and results and here you have the model and results so you have the two types so first order result type result type will go at first order model analysis and view type we can have this model frequencies now you can just select any load combination a bit of seismic weight in this case so here we'll have this uh, particular model mass in the directions as you can see here we can have see the model frequencies so if you want you can just click on this and export this results in ms excel so uh, just you click on it and the automatically it will be uploaded the mode number and then the period frequency and then the model mass direction in one and two so uh, i took a very simplified method to explain a lot of things in this uh, tecla so we will conclude it first of all we have discussed what is the process whether the second order uh, nonlinear analysis or the p delta analysis is possible or not what is the process to do that and how to change the settings to do that and the second thing we have discussed how to do the model uh, you know first order model analysis and how to view the results of this uh, model analysis and uh, how to export the uh, results into ms excel so this we had seen and uh, if you are watching this video for the first time you can subscribe to our channel for so there are a lot of videos if you are a beginner you can also start with uh, a lot of videos which are already there so stay tuned to our channel and have a good day bye bye